This question does sound pretty confusing, and I get that if you're not comfortable with function notation, this f of x thing, you might not be able to sort through. But if we are, and we understand what they're really telling us here, that this is an x and y set of coordinates, then it's pretty easy to follow the strategy, plug points into equations. Love the strategy. I hate writing it because it's so many words, but it's so easy to use. Plug points into equations. We have points. That's what this chart is. We also have an equation. It's not a very complicated one, but we can plug in. So it really doesn't matter in this case which point we pick. Let's just take the first one since I usually pick zero anyway. But if we're plugging in correctly here, there is no x to plug into. Okay? There's a c, but there's no x. And the f of x, I know there's an x there, but it's not a separate x. It's the whole f of x that we're plugging in. So it's behaving like one unit, one variable. So what ends up happening is I'll, when we plug in f of x equals c and we take the point 0, 5, we've got a good place for the 5 to go. There's no place for the 0, but it doesn't matter because we're just being asked for the value of c and we've just found that it is 5. Basically what's happening here is that this is a horizontal line that goes across the xy plane, and so it just goes where y is equal to 5, and so that's how it would look. This is the same as an equation like this, and so, yeah, the y wouldn't change because it's always in the same spot. Um, but we don't really need to understand that on that deep of a level in order to get the, que the question if we understand how function notation works and what we're being presented with. This is, again, why pl plug points into equations this is my favorite strategy. I say that in lots of videos, and I mean it. It's very mindless if we understand just when we've got points, when we've got equations, plug them in, see what happens.